Hi guys, this is Asal. I'm studying for the bar and I wanted to review my notes with you. So, this is going to be my last video of criminal law. After this, I'm going to move on and hopefully I want to make another playlist just with torts. So I'm going to start with assault and battery and false imprisonment and all of that. But um, let me start by telling you what we're talking about today. Today we're talking about possession offenses. And basically possession offenses are those when you have like a contraband. And like basically what is a contraband? Contraband is illegal drugs or dangerous weapons or child pornography or stolen property. All those things are contrabands. And in this very short video, I'm hoping it's going to be less than three minutes, I'm going to describe the mens rea required and, uh, for the possession offenses and also the actual work versus constructive possession. Like, what does that mean? And the last thing I'm going to talk about are going to be the affirmative defenses to illegal, drug, illegal possession. Okay, so let me jump into it. Mens rea. Mens rea for possession offenses. So there's two types of possession. There is the actual possession and then there's the constructive possession. And actual possession is when there's immediate physical control of the item, okay? And with constructive possession, that is the ability and intent to control the item. Okay, so there was this case um, from the 2007, actually pretty recent, not that recent. Oh my gosh, I'm getting old. Okay. I'm not that old. I'm actually pretty young. Um, United States versus Garner. Okay, what did that case say? Constructive position also occurs when a defendant has both the ability and the intent to control the property in the actual possession of another person. So he must have the ability and he must have the intent. Okay. And this is the mens rea for the uh, affirmative defenses. The, the defendant didn't know of the item's presence. So in order to have that affirmative defense, the defendant can say, hey, I didn't know of the item's presence. And also the defendant didn't know of the item's illegal nature. Okay, let's say, you know, someone put something in your car and, you know, it's cocaine, but like it looks like flour and you don't know, you know. So you must know that, okay, that's actually cocaine and it's not something you use in the kitchen, okay? Now, um, this is going to be the last thing I'm going to talk about and I'm going to be done with my video. So um, listen up. Innocence, innocently possessed and discarded, okay? So what happens when like something is innocently possessed and discarded? There's this affirmative defense for it and the the affirmative defense is the defendant innocently came into the possession of an illegal item, but immediately upon discovering the illegal nature of the item, discarded it. Okay, so let's say that like the defendant just like came into a possession of cocaine and, you know, like he just, at, at first he didn't know that was cocaine, but like he thought it was flour and, you know, it was going to make cake with it. But the minute he finds out that that's actually cocaine and he gets rid of it, that's his um, affirmative defense. Okay, so that's pretty much everything I wanted to say about possession. I really hope you enjoy studying criminal law and um, keep up with me in torts. Have a good day. Bye.